Hey, welcome back to the channel. So I was reading through the comments on the YouTube channel over the last few days, and I'm noticing that a lot of people had issues downloading MSI Afterburner directly from the MSI website. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of methods and how to get Afterburner if you're having problems. So the first obvious thing to do is to go to the MSI Afterburner website. MSI.com is the official URL. And at the website, you can see that there's a download link here uh, to download MSI Afterburner. But if you click on it, like I am right now, and nothing's happening, then there might be an issue with their hosting. So one thing that you can do is just right click on the page and go to view page source. And when you go to view page source, hold down control and hit F on your keyboard, you get the find screen. And in here you can just type in zip. So zip is the format of the file that we're trying to download. It's a compressed file. And here it is. There's only two things that come up. And the first one is going to be the link. And you can just right click on that and copy it, open up a new tab in the browser. And in the address bar, you can just paste it and then hit enter. Now, typically you'd be able to just download it right from there and it'll download the file. Sometimes you get this issue where it says not found. And when you get not found, then you're kind of stuck. And a lot of users are having this issue, but they're just not able to get it, even if they have the direct link for the zip file. So what I'm doing right now is I'm also hosting it on my website. I have a, a blog put up right now where the how to install MSI Afterburner is there. And if you scroll down in this blog post, I actually have the download link. I have a one directly from the website. and also have a copy of it that I uploaded to Mega. So you can just click on the download link there and you'll be able to go to the Mega website and download it from there. Now, this is my copy of it. Once again, you should always, always, always try to get it from the source. But if you're stuck as an alternate solution, I'm just putting a copy out there uh, just for people who are stuck. Uh, you should trust the source that you're you're getting it from. I hope you trust my source. It's on Mega. Uh, it's been validated by me and only use the link that I'm putting in this video in the description. So I hope you guys have found that useful. Um, if you have any questions, if you're stuck with anything else with Afterburner, let me know. Just drop it in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. So thank you for watching. If you found this useful, once again, just give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.